everybody, it's me, Monica, and welcome to another uh, Speed Build. So today we are going to be doing something different <laughs> on 20 by 15 lot in Chestnut Bridge. No, not seriously. Uh, we are going to be doing a Wild West caravan or wagon, whatever you want to call it. And guys, let's just be real here. I got tired of ranches and barns. Um, I really thought that I'm going to be doing like a huge ranch sometime soon uh, But just I, I I got tired of them. I'm not going to lie to you. It's the way it is and Yeah, but I didn't get tired of the new pack. I really did not got tired of this amazing pack in this amazing world and I just wanted to do something different and uh, you guys, I really, really love uh, fantasy things mixed with uh, like old, um, like, let's say, mechanisms. <laughs> That's why I really like steampunk uh, and things like that. I just really like that old technology mixed with fantasy. So I decided to make this caravan um, inspired by some art that I found on Pinterest. I uh, Pinterest. I never co I never copied uh, something super literally, uh, but definitely you can see the inspiration uh, behind my builds sometimes. Uh, so this is a very fun and challenging build to make, obviously, because we don't have something like this in, in Sims. And it was very important for me to make everything functional. I actually did something like this before. Uh, I did Witch's Caravan in Hanford and Bagley and you guys liked it a lot. So if somebody didn't check it out, uh, please do that. Uh, I'm going to pop the link to you so uh, you can check it out. And it was one of my favorite builds of all times. It still is. I, I really loved that build so, so much. So I just wanted to try to do it again, but with, you know, more functionality because right, uh, back then we didn't have horses so I added some fake horses by Severinka and you know it's just let's be real here uh, I hate molesting animals of any sort so I'm not approving any type of carriages or caravans or anything like it this is just for the aesthetical purposes, uh, it, it cannot be pulled by a horse and I'm actually very happy that uh, we didn't got like carriages and things like that because our civilization, civilization is so over molesting animals, so thank god. Um, so everything is just, you know, visual in here but everything is also functional so this house has everything that you need like bathroom and kitchen and the place to sleep and wardrobe a table everything and also outside i put some planters and also things for for the horse uh, of course to sleep eat and uh, drink um of course, if you need more space for the horse, you can arrange it somewhere in here or just close that part for for the horse. Uh, I left it open uh, in this case because it, it has, you know, sense uh, not to have an extra house if you have a wagon or a caravan. So uh, that was my my thought behind this. Also, I thought this is like a multi-purpose lot. Uh, it can be for like 
all sorts of different sims uh, at least I think so like I can imagine bounty hunter lives in here or um, like a loner who loves animals and likes to travel or uh, some kind of adventurer uh, maybe a wine seller or nectar seller of course I don't know I, I see a lot of personalities different personalities living in here maybe um, also somebody who you know is stealing <laughs> or <laughs> Uh, like he's driving around the neighborhood and stealing things um, it's just a thought but I really I really thought that this is a multi purposeful lot for all kinds of different sims so um, I'm really really hoping that you guys uh, like it as much as I do but because I really really do and I'm really hoping for the future where I'm going to get inspired with more builds like this because, you know, it, it, it's different than this game. It's not something that you will expect from the build. But on the other hand, like, it's, it's really popular in a way. We really like tiny homes and things like that. This is a micro home, by the way, you guys, it's a micro home. Uh, so it has some a lot and advantages. You probably know more about it than I do <laughs> because I don't know anything. Um, but it's a very fun and tiny build to play with and I would like to try it out myself, you know, it's, it's really comfortable looking and actually from the inside, I don't believe it looks too crowded. You guys are going to see that anytime soon. Um, also, I added some laundry things, as you can see in here. I thought that's very realistic that if you have like a caravan uh, that long time ago um, you need to wash your laundries by hand so that was the reason behind behind why I used uh, like laundry day um, I don't know I don't that often use uh, washing machines I don't know why but I think that's a lot of work for your sim to do. I, I, I can understand that people like laundry day gameplay. I, I really do because it's fun. Uh, but every time when you, you know, wash yourself or change season, you need to wash your laundry or all over again and dry it, of course. So it takes, um, I believe, a lot of time for your gameplay. So I don't usually do that because I think that I wouldn't uh, use laundry day as much if that makes sense um, you can always add I think that most of my builds have uh, enough space to add a washing machine and a dryer uh, but this particular time um, in this particular like super tiny micro home I think that just added to reality I, I don't know why but I just feel that way and also I added this extra little wagon in here I want that wagon to look like it's for a horse like we have a small wagon for for a horse in a game but it's a modern one um, and I really want to have an old-school one and also I really like that um, curved roof with uh, like textile um, I don't know what kind of material that is but it looks so awesome to me and it's like so typically Western that I really want to incorporate that item and I believe that's a new decoration that we've got with uh, this bag uh, by the way guys, I don't know did you notice or not, but this uh, this build is CC free, so there is no custom content in it. Um, 
I really wanted to do that because my first caravan was um, CC so I wanted another one to be non CC just so you can see guys that you can do a lot of things without custom content as well you don't necessarily need custom content to make cool builds uh, I personally love custom content because I have more options and especially like European options uh, don't find that offending uh, I don't mind any pack I love everything that we have in the game but I just feel that I need more items that reminds me of a home if you know what I mean so I'm super happy to have all these uh, different options that I can use for like European builds or not just European builds like Asian builds uh, African builds and things like that we don't that we don't typically have in the sims we have some items um, maybe some smaller packs but definitely not enough to make like the whole build the way it's supposed to look uh, that's just my opinion uh, you guys this uh, video is a little bit like uh, longer but you have more details to see that's why um, I didn't spit it up so so uh, so much as usual <laughs> so so you can see um, more of this build and the details that I was doing that maybe you like and you want to recreate for yourself yeah so also uh, this little wagon that I said that is for a horse uh, it can it can use for like wine um, selling selling wine or nectar or any other like drinks or I don't know fabrics or whatever gameplay you want to play so that's cool I think so here we are finally in the interior so you're going to see the floor plan the floor plan it's very simple uh, it's different than the Witch's Caravan though, so that's something that I really liked. And there is quite enough light in inside, there is enough windows and everything, so you can see outside. And most of the items that I was using are the Sims 4 Horse Ranch, and I used some packs extra, that, that's something that you can always check out on my gallery or of course on the curse forge because i'm going to upload this on the curse forge as well because if you guys are downloading from the curse forge i'm uh, getting a small fee uh, from the website so that's very nice and that's a way you can support me for free so please if you can always download from uh, the curse forge my builds so guys thank you so so much for watching um i can't wait to see you again very very soon and i'm sending you a lot a lot of kisses bye bye you guys <laughs>